Hello, my name is Mike Doherty and my research project has been on AI and specifically the advancements that machine learning and computer vision have had on the field. One of my primary articles I used for my research was Deep Learning for Computer Vision by Athanis Sios, Volodimos, and Nicholas Dulumis. This article primarily gave me deeper insight into how computer vision has developed technologically and how critical its development is to artificial intelligence as a whole. The second article was titled Thriving in the Age of Accelerations, a brief look at the societal effects of artificial intelligence and the opportunities for libraries by Kenny Arlish and Bruce Newell. This article provided me with deeper understanding of the societal impacts of artificial intelligence and how advances in the field often put people out of work when a robot is designed to replace them. My research question is, does AI's benefit in making our daily lives easier worth the potential risks associated with creating such a system? As for my research method, I primarily used EBSCOhost to find the majority of my articles. I used the abstract of my articles to see if that certain article would help with my research, and then continue into the article to learn more. If that article is relevant and helpful in my research, I then util utilized the folder aspect of EBSCO's site to help me organize the articles I was interested in. For my research findings, in asking what is AI, I found that computer vision, deep learning, and machine learning are critical in digitizing the world around us. Within machine learning, I found that computers he rely heavily on being taught individual tasks, but once a sufficient amount of those basic tasks have been taught to a computer, it can then carry out its tasks and expand on those without being told to. We see a powerful example of perhaps very soon what could be our modern day shopping malls in the film Minority Report. In this short clip, we, saw, we see John Anderson, who is played by Tom Cruise, walk through a shopping mall. While walking, each ad that is playing is personalized to a specific interest and addresses his by name after scanning his retinas. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to the Gap. How those assorted tank tops work out for you? Mr. Yakamoto. Hey, Miss Belfour, did you come back for another pair of those chamois lace-ups? As for computer vision, the field has been advancing at breakneck speed with the advent of powerful and precise imaging technology that computer systems can then interpret and produce results from. As the graph illustrates, many investors also believe in computer vision as the future, with the total amount of money in computer vision based companies only on the rise. With almost $300 million invested in 2016 alone, the field certainly has funding. We see many examples of this technology in use today. One example is Tesla's self-driving capabilities. This image shows the real-time image. The computer on board a Tesla receives and then interprets to avoid any sort of collision. Another example of this image recognition technology is also being applied to the military, where robots can be programmed to interpret certain persons as dangerous based off of commands from remote bases and be told to use deadly force to eliminate that threat. This becomes a scary thought when human lives are put in the hands of programmed robots which is why I believe AI should not be integrated into law enforcement systems. While although it could save lives, it has the biggest potential to cause mass devastation. However, the most promising integration of all these systems is in Seattle, Washington, at Amazon's new Amazon Go store. This store integrates sensors, cameras, and hundreds of computer algorithms to create a cashierless experience where all the customer does is walk into the store and then walk out. If you haven't seen it already, here's a look inside. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Take whatever you like. 
Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. The conclusion I came to at the end of my research was that although the risks of artificial intelligence systems are very real, potentially devastating, in the case of a military system being hacked, its benefits and examples such as self-driving cars and Amazon Go point towards a faster, more efficient future that will revolutionize our world as we know it. Here's a list of all my sources I used for this project. Any questions?